Hello and welcome to Watkins Glen where we bring to you the only session of today. It's Saturday qualifying, it's Saturday morning qualifying very early indeed. It's around half past nine. The session started half past eight. Of course the hour of qualifying they get the three knockout sessions. It's not that it's ten minute session, but um we pretend it's an hour. But um Yeah, Nika Hulkenberg currently on provisional pole. What a race he had at the sprint race. Or a sprint race he had, I should say. He was qualified third, he was so unlucky, he could have easily got pole in that. Of course, remember, it was half the circuit. They used this short layout for the sprint. But Hulkenberg, he comes into the pit, so he's already used up all his um, laps. Charles Leclerc crosses the line, he stays P3. How long's left? We've got a minute and a half to go, so Leclerc will have um, another lap to see if he can get pole. Of course, normally we come in near the end, but um, we thought come in a little bit earlier on today why not there have been some a little few delays to qualifying there was a red flag for debris at one point earlier on not but um yeah how's the green looking so far of course Hulkenberg his teammate championship leader crashed out at the start or early on in the sprint race, after a collision with Logan Sargent, he's currently right at the back of the field. That is huge, and he's in the pits. He'll not be setting another lap. I think Leclerc's the only person that can actually set a lap. Yeah, he is. So Leclerc is the only person that can challenge Nico Hulkenberg for pole position. So let's see. How will Leclerc do as he crosses the line? Can he get a pole? The reigning world champion is to be masters for a championship. No, he can't. He is P3, which means that Nika Hulkenberg will be on pole for the US Grand Prix in the Haas car. What a story that is for the team that's battling out for Constructors World Champions. You would not expect that from a Haas car. But a lot of front-running drivers near the front as well. Russell is not really that close. He won the sprint, of course, did Russell. But he's not really up there in the championship fight like he was last year. Anyway, let's go through your grid. Maxson, as we said, championship leader right at the back. Lawson making his final start for Red Bull of the season. Of course, he's replacing Nick DeVries, who's currently at, F at Fuji racing in the six hour. Or well, it's that weekend, and that he's not racing currently in the six hour. That's tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow, late at night for US, I guess. Anyway, Vesti in 18th, he won't be here next week. It's a poor qualifying for him, but he didn't do, get, do a great qualifying in a sprint and it ended up finishing, I think, 8th in the end or 7th, I'm not too sure. But anyway, Oasa 17th in what is his probably final qualifying session in Formula 1 because there aren't really that many seats opening up for him. It looks like he did have a very solid sprint race though until, well, sprint qualifying. Not a great sprint race, unfortunately, due to some incidents. But anyway, Maloney in 16th, this will be his final start of the season, but he will be back, I'm assuming, next year in 60, um, in this very very seat. Sergeant 15th in his home Grand Prix. Um, of course, he did finish in the points before getting a penalty for that collision with Magnussen. Piastri 14th, Stroll 13th, Snowden 12th, Joe 11th, Albon 10th, Sainz 9th, um, Gasly 8th, Ocon 7th, Drogovic 6th, Norris 5th, Verstappen 4th, Leclerc 3rd, Russell 2nd, and your pole theatre, of course, Nico Hulkenberg. We will watch Hulkenberg's lap in a second. But firstly, I think, in my opinion, has been the best... He was fastest in FP2 last night. But Carlos Sainz, he had a bit of an incident watching the Ferrari drift through the around that corner. This is, his, this is his final chance to get a decent lap time in. And this is what he did with it. Going through the boot. Of course, this part is not the part to be used to the sprint and just... Big snap of oversteer hits the wall and a fire at the back of the car. You'd think he'd stop and the red flag would come out, but he was trying to avoid red flag, so of course his teammate was still pushing for pole. So even though there's a big fire, he's trying to steer the car. Of course, he hasn't got a front right tyre, because that's, that's come off the car. But, um, yeah, he did manage to eventually keep going. He just tried to get out of everyone's way. Almost takes the house car out. And his teammate, that's good of him. Yeah, he does manage to get into the pits eventually to avoid a red flag coming out. I'm surprised. The FIA aren't doing anything about that, but oh well. 
Let's get on board of what happened to the Ferrari driver. He goes out the exit of the boot towards the sprint layout. Um, you can see the car just get too hard in the throttle, overcorrects it, and then just can't slow the car down. And into the barrier he goes. Anyway, Nico Hulkenberg is the man on pole. Let's have a look at his pole up. So very early on that, in fact, from Hulkenberg. Did this lap? Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's like that. We'll have a watch of Hulkenberg's pole lap then, going around the final corner to start the lap. Of course, we all saw this in the sprint race yesterday and all the sprint action that we've had for sprint practice, sprint qualifying and the sprint race. Turn one, the slowest, well, at least the slowest part of the sprint track, not the slowest corner of the whole track. Going up the S is now two, three, four. Going through five, no, two, three, this is four. And then going towards the chicane, which is turn five. Six, seven, and eight. It's not technically that. Technically, it's not a corner. But yeah. Anyway, got to nail all the apexes through turn through the outer loop, and then towards. No, that is the inner loop. This okay. Now it's the outer loop. And then we go down the hill. Very undulating part of track. This we had a big crash here in the Mustang Challenge a few months ago. It's a huge one into the wall. The car flipped over after a brake failure. I'm not really stuck throttle actually. Anyway. Oldenburg nails the apex of that one. This is probably, I think, the slowest corner on the track. The long hairpin, well, not even a hairpin, this is a long corner for another one, a pretty much mirrored image of that last corner we just had. Before we go back onto the short track, the corners that we're all used to from yesterday, going round the flat out from the ultimate corner and round the final corner, mostly taken flat out. You have got to lift off a little bit. That is a pole lap from Mika Hulkenberg in the half car. The US Grand Prix. We'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. US time for the US Grand Prix. Make sure to join us then. We will be there. Goodbye.